Yo, what's up YouTube, it's your boy Travis Stikes. Today we're gonna to be working on the number system and how we can put it on our playing fast. So without further ado, why don't you grab your bass and we'll get started. All right, so now the number system, how does it all work? All right, so basically what we need to know before we start putting numbers to anything is we need to know the major scale. So let's go to the key of D as in dog, right here on the A string. And we're just gonna play, learn a major scale. So right here we've got one, uh, D, E, G flat, G, uh, A, B, uh, D flat, and back to D. So now with the number system, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add a number to it. Pretty simple. All right, so all we're gonna do is just gonna play, is play this major scale, but we're just gonna add numbers to it. Just count up. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and back to one. So seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, simple enough, simple enough. And that's literally what the, that's all the number system is, is just adding numbers to your major scale and it makes it super simple, all right? And so now, so a lot of times, when I first learned this concept, I was just like, man, this is so easy. But when I started playing it in church and start playing it in different places, you know, where I'm playing it like with people, I realized, okay, all right, I can't, I can't play this scale like, like this. So like, so the way this works too is like, so if somebody calls a six, you'd be like, all right, go to six, all right, four. And this usually happens like whenever somebody like is doing something, when you're doing something improv or, or if you, if it's a song that randomly came up out of nowhere and, and so like, they're just calling numbers out to you. Um, and so like six, you got your six and it's like, go to four. Okay, go to five, go to one, go to two, and you're just and they're just like, hold on, you're you're hold on, that's six, that six is too high. Why are you why are you, why are you up in the guitar range? <laughs> why are you so high? Because the G the G string is not usually what you want to use for your bass note. You want to use something a little lower, you know, the E and A string. That's usually my go to when it comes to bass notes and playing with the band. But but this what this little technique that I've learned. Um, help me get out of that, uh, which is something I developed called pivot points. There's two pivot points. One is on the one and one is on the five. So the first one on the one um, is all, all it's saying is that the little hack, I have a little hack, is that so the D is our one. So our four is always going to be one string below our one, which is right here. Okay. And, our, and so go back to one. And, and now our other hack is that our five is always gonna be one string above our one. So right here. Okay. So now we have ac easy access to both of those. We have a, access to a four and we access to a low five. All right. So now, and then now you start thinking, okay, so what, what else do I have access to since this is my pivot point, this is my home. So <clears throat> we have, we take it up two frets and we have, so we got one, two, our two is right here. So now we have access to our two and our one is right there. So two, and then we have access to our four, access to our five and so on. So that's, so now we got, now we've got like four notes in like the same little area without even really moving too far. All right, and so now another thing is we have two groupings of notes that are a little bit um, a little bit different, um, which is it's only basically there's only two groupings of notes that are in our major scale that are a half step away or one fret away, which is the one and the seven and the four and the three. Okay, so everything else is gonna be two frets away. 
So just knowing that our one and our seven and our four and our three are only one foot away makes it e a lot easier for us to figure out where everything else is. All right. So uh, now we have, so knowing that we have access to our seven right here. All right, right there from the one. So our seven is always one fret below our one. So now knowing that, now we have like a, a little a little area right here that we can to work with. So we got our, uh, so our first one, four is always below our one, the one string below. All right, five is always one string above. And then uh, two is always two frets above our one. And then our seven is always one fret below our one. And so now we have access to these notes really easily and really, um, they're very accessible. Now the next pivot point is the five. This is one that I use all the time. This is like such a, a great one for me when it comes to jumping between octaves and like trying to slide up, you know, high and then go back really low. You know, it's a really, really easy, um, easy way for me to take the number system and just really apply it. So now, um, so now we're going to change our pivot point from the one to just being on the five. Okay. So now, um, our five is here on this A. So, so now what we're going to do is we're thinking, all right, so we are at our five. So what's close to us? Um, so like I said, we have those two groupings of, there's only two groupings that's, that's a uh, one fret apart. So it's just like, okay, so that means that whatever note that I'm at is probably going to be two frets apart. So knowing that, it's just like, okay, so if I want to go up to six, I just need to go up two frets, one, two. All right, so we got six right there. And our five's back right here. It's like, okay, that's easy. All right, so now we want to go to a lower four. It's like, thinking, all right, we, oh, it's probably going to be two frets away. So we got one, two. Okay, so our four is there. And then our five is still here. So now we have this little pivot points in the center of them. So if we want to go six, four, six, four, we just know where our five is and we can kind of sense, see, you know, where we're going. Or if we want to do six, five, four, six, five, four, it's all right here in this area. And so now instead of playing a four way up here, I can play a four down here. All right, or I can play a six instead of playing it right here in the G. I, I remember I used to get get um, called out from the music director. It's like, it's like play play a six lower, play a low six. What what are you playing? Like, <laughs> and so I had to learn really quick of how to do this. And so like now knowing this pivot point, we could play our six low and not get yelled at. <laughs> and so we got and we got our four right there. We got our five right there. So. And that's pretty much some of the basics of it. Now the three, now when we go to our four, like I said before, the one and the seven and the three and the four are the are, are like one fret apart. So knowing that our four, our three is only gonna be right here if we wanna go to a low three. So now if we're playing one and somebody says go to a three, we think our right, five pivot point and then our uh, four is here, and then our three is always one fret below. Okay, okay. So now that's where our three is. All right. And so it's it's and that's just a way that you can take it. And so like if you wanted to even go up higher, you can also do it this way. So you can play one. Uh, you have your one here, and it's just like okay, where's my five? Okay, okay, we got one, two, three, four, five. All right, my five's here. Or I could just think, oh, we have. Uh, we could do an octave. All right, so, and this and this is just an easy way of figuring out octaves. It's, it's, I'll call it two by two. You go up two frets and down two strings to get to the higher octave. So, which is like this. So if we go to our five, I wanna to go to the higher octave of it. We're gonna play one, two frets above, and then one, two strings down. So it's two by two, two by two. All right, and so that just gives you the same note higher, just an octave higher. All right. So now knowing that it's, it's the same way back down is two strings up and two frets down. So it's still two by two, but it's just backwards. Um, but now since we, we know our five is here and it's a pivot point, we can access our six way up here if we want to, 
or we can access our five or our four right all right here because it's the same thing same as what's here it's just an octave higher and so that means our, our, our that means our three is going to be where it's going to be one fret below our four so now we have access to four different notes in two different areas all right and so yeah this is a really 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 great concept um, to know and it's really really useful and so what I would uh, oh, and there is one more thing actually I'm about to forget. There's one more thing I wanted to tell you guys about, um, especially when you're playing in church or playing uh, in um, in gospel, is that there's sometimes notes that are not necessarily in the key that you'll go to. Somebody might say flat seven, and it's just like, oh, uh, what's that? So basically, all this is all it is is that like um, with flats and sharps is with, with bass, it's just one fret away. Okay, so like. If um, so if I'm if, I, if somebody says go to a flat two, okay. All right, so I'm gonna go to my two right here. So one and two, okay. All I'm gonna do is take it down one fret. That's a flat two. And then to one, okay. So we got there's a flat two to two. And so if somebody says sharp the two, then all I'm gonna do is sharp the, to sharp the two I'm just gonna take it up one fret take it up to sharp and then take it down to flat hopefully that makes sense I know that's a little bit um, pretty basic but it you'd be very surprised on where how much this comes up and when you play in gospel music um, um, so right here so we got our seven right here and we want to go to a flat seven what are we going to do take it down a fret we're going to flat it so there's a flat seven um but there's not really there's not a sharp seven okay just so you know this just it just goes back to a one and then this it applies to notes that you know that are out of the key so like when you go to the, you can't really sharp a seven it's because that's that notes in the key so it's no there's no like sharp or flat there it's just the note that's in the key so so six, if you want to go flat six, what are you going to do? Flat it, you know, go back to six. And then like, you know, a sharp six, you're know, just going to take it up a fret. And so that's just super simple, easy, easy uh, way of just thinking about doing sharps and flats. And that can happen with any note. Just be ready for it and just practice with it. And something I would do is practice with the metronome and practice songs. Practice playing your songs. Like you could play something to six, four, one, five. So we're in D. We got six. Uh, so we got six, four, one, five. So I'm playing the song six, four, one. All right, let's go to a different pivot point. The five. All right, now we got six, four, one, five. Let's take it back down with our pivot point. One and then five. Now we're back down lower octave all right and so i would just take this practice it practice it with the metronome really lock it in in your practice time and you'll be playing it easy and like just killing it by the time of your next rehearsal thank you guys so much for watching i hope you can take this technique and put it into all every bit of your playing uh, that you do and if you ever uh, have a question or want me to teach a certain topic, feel free to drop it in the comment section below or hit me up on my Instagram at tdykes and, uh, and I'll be sure to respond to you um, soon. <laughs> so, and if you like these videos and you want to uh, support it and want to get more of these, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and also uh, hit the bell, the notification bell, so like whenever some, whenever I post a video, you get notified on your phone or on your computer or whatever to let, to let you know that I've got a new video out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time.